What is good, everybody? I am John Price. This is going to be my first podcast, and this is also going to be the first episode, if you want to call it, of the podcast. The podcast is going to be called A Conversation with John Price. The reason why I'm creating a podcast is because I'm someone who is very passionate about the things he believes in. (laughs) I'm almost someone who will force things on people. Even when I know I'm wrong sometimes, I'll keep pushing it, but eventually I'll say, yeah, I'm wrong, I get it, and then I'll go on the other side and start talking and agreeing and things like that. But I thought it would be good for someone like me to definitely put out a podcast about things that I think people should look more into. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is our Sixth Amendment right, and that is innocent until proven guilty. So what is really weird about this process to me is why we get arrested They may not have any evidence against us, anything like that. Somebody can just say, hey, this person hit me. So the police come and pick you up. They take you to jail. And then you either, if you're lucky, you get a signature bond and you don't have to pay anything and you get out. Now, if you don't get a signature bond, you see the judge. The judge says, hey, you have to pay this amount of money to get out. Or you're stuck in jail until your trial date. So where is the innocent until proven guilty there? You are arrested based on somebody saying something, no evidence, no proof, no facts, no anything like that, taken into custody. And then in order for you to get out, you have to have money to get out. Our justice system is already paid for by tax dollars. Why are they collecting more money from us? Fees fines, things of that nature. I I don't understand that. So the whole innocent until proven guilty. So now I have been taking into jail and I am having to bail out of jail in order to get home. And I still haven't even been to a trial and been able to present any facts to prove my innocence or anything like that. To me, that seems like you're guilty until proven innocent. And the even crazier thing to me is, so now, if you do post bail, then you go to trial, and you win the trial, and you're not guilty, you don't get any of that money back. That money just goes away. So it's just really weird to me why they do that to people. Like, I could literally call the police right now and say, hey, so-and-so abused me. You need to go pick them up. They may or may not. Usually they probably won't, but they may also. Now, if a woman says, hey, my husband's beating me, they will definitely show up. And in the state of Kansas, whether that woman wants to press charges or not when they get there, they legally have to take someone in in order for the situation to dissolve. So even if nobody wants to press charges and this and that, they still have to wait or they still have to take someone into custody. So now someone didn't even press charges against you. You may not have even hit your spouse or your girlfriend or whatever. And you may have to post bail to get out and no charges will even be presented on you. (laughs) It's just to me, it's like another way for them to make money. And And it's really weird to me that our justice system, something that is supposed to protect and serve our people are taking money from our people. You already take money from taxes that we're not supposed to have to begin with. So why are you taking more money? So you're not allocating our taxes properly? Like what's going on here? And I get it. So they say their argument for why they pick you up and they want you to post bail is so that you don't go anywhere or they can hold you until trial or this and that, but you're not proven guilty of anything yet. So why are you needed to be held until your trial date when they have not proven anything? To me, I feel like they need to do the process of the trial before they pick you up. So if they're going to come pick you up for, um, 
for an accusation or you did something wrong, they should have already presented it to a judge. They should already have to have the evidence and everything of that nature for you to be taking in, to have facts, to have evidence against you, you know? So it's just really weird to me that they can just take you in based on what somebody says. And then you can say the complete opposite, but they're like, well, they said it first, or we have to do this because now we're already here. It's just really weird to me. And um, I know I probably went around like crazy on this, but basically what I'm talking about here is do you guys believe that we are really innocent until proven guilty in America? Um, also, what is your viewpoint on this? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think we really are and they should be doing this for people? Because I know some people's arguments will be, well, shoot, if it's a serial killer and you finally got them, you don't want to let them go and let them flee the country and this and that. But my argument is, you should have had the facts before you picked them up or the evidence before you picked them up. You can't pick them up just on assumptions. Um, and I think that's a lot of things that's going wrong with our world today too, which is going to lead me into different topics that I'll speak about um, in my conversations with John Price podcast is people are basing facts on opinions nowadays and it's nuts. But, ba but back to what we're talking about, this whole innocent until proven guilty. So their argument on holding you until your court date if you can't pay bail is so they can make sure you're not going to go anywhere even though they have no evidence to prove you're guilty also the whole money thing is to pay for you for the service basically up front so you're going to have to go to court they just took you to jail and had to hold you for a night Nothing that you told them to do or anything like that, by no means. But you got to pay money for this, which is already supposed to be paid for by our tax dollars. And everybody's going to be like, oh, 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 they, we, don't, we don't pay enough in taxes or we don't have enough tax dollars to pay for this. That is complete BS, guys. We pay so much money in taxes, it's ridiculous. Businesses get taxed three times on their money. Every American gets taxed twice on their money. So this whole not enough taxes, that's BS for the argument in my opinion. But what I love about my conversations and how I am as a person is I love hearing everybody's opinions on every single topic I talk about. And anybody that presents facts that goes against what I say, I love hearing them. And I love trying to figure out, okay, yes, I get it's a fact. I get you're backing it. So does this now make it right and what I'm saying wrong? I will all day long, if you guys are able to present things to prove why I'm wrong or to prove why I'm right, I will listen to that all day and I will always change my opinion if facts allow that to happen. But until that happens, guys, I'm that type of guy that you're wrong. What are you talking about? You're an idiot. Da, 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 you know, just like a lot of people probably are. But I want to know what you guys think about this whole innocent until proven guilty. Do you think I'm just crazy and I'm a guy that's been in the system and um, feels like he's owed something or anything like that. And that's definitely not the case, but however you guys feel out there, I want to know. So what is your viewpoint on this innocent until proven guilty? So please leave comments in this YouTube. Uh, I'm going to post all my podcasts to YouTube and then I'll promote it on social media. So try to comment on the actual YouTube video, please. And then I will look at these comments and I will respond to them in another video. I'm not going to give myself a time frame on I'm going to do this weekly, every Saturday, every month or anything like that. I'm going to do it when I get time, guys. I work full time. I have a kid. I have a girlfriend. I have a house to provide for. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm always trying to invest money into this, make money out of that. So always to me, 
It can sound greedy or whatever you want, but money and my family always comes first. So if I'm not able to get to this real quick, I apologize, but you guys are definitely a priority to me. I will make sure I try to respond to every comment, whether it's in a video or through responding, through texting, typing, whatever it is nowadays. And also, if you do comment on the videos I share on Facebook and not directly on the video and you comment on the actual post. I will try to respond to all of those comments as well. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, this is my first podcast. This is um, a conversation with John Price, and I'm going to call this one Innocent Until Proven Guilty, the Sixth Amendment. So let me know your guys' views and beliefs on this. I can't wait to see it. This has been driving me nuts for a long time now and I feel like we need to make a difference if this is something that is true that I'm saying then let's try to come together and let's make a difference on this too that's going to be another goal of mine if I can get a whole bunch of like-minded people together we can make differences together too guys we can tell people the facts we can show people what they're doing to people treating them wrong and things of that nature but I'm going to hop off here, guys. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Go Chiefs. Everybody have a great day. Much love, respect. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.